well everyone uh, know the uh, definition of artificial intelligence it is the task of creating uh, intelligent in an artificial way in an artificial way that means you are in a position to create a machine in par with the human being so whatever the activities performed by a homo sapien that is a human uh, the same thing should be uh, performed uh, by a machine so what you should do you should thoroughly study the uh, behavior of a human being uh, with respect to a particular situation or a particular scenario and then you need to do uh, what is that mathematical um, manipulations or mathematical computations into it in order to bring it what exactly the brain is doing and what exactly the intelligence is and how to construct a intelligence in an artificial way via uh, mathematical or any other uh, supporting uh, idea uh, so uh, the authors of uh, the many authors have worked uh, with the art ai concept and they have defined the ai concept uh, with respect to two things one is uh, say for example the definition is one is uh, fidelity to human performance fidelity to human performance and the another one is ideal performance measure that is called rationality rationality so this is a very uh, rough and tough uh, idea mm, ideal performance called uh, rationality but the fidelity is uh, to human performance is like a soft so how we have human is uh, making some soft decision with respect to some kind of idea so that is the uh, fidelity uh, when you go for uh, years of uh, many authors who have contributed in the artificial industry, for example, uh, here we could see that Hagland in 1985, Bellman in 1978. So the artificial intelligence is not a new one. Where it has started, as per the book, the citation, uh, it is started around 1970s. 1970s. So what is that? It is automation of activities, right? It is automation of activities. What are the activities? Yeah, human is doing certain activity, and those activities should be automated, automated, so that some kind of decision making has been performed. So, what can say for example, your attendance uh, system is also uh, can be automated by means of a fingerprint, right? So you can have a machine, so you should uh, you have to punch it with your finger, so then only your attendance is marked. So if that is the case, uh, you are automating the activity. Before that, there should be any book or any notebook that you have to write your name and accordingly you have to put your uh, uh, time of entry as well as your signature like that. But those things, even more than that, things uh, can be automated by means of uh, some kind of hardware design as well as uh, some kind of uh, technological innovation. Accordingly, you can uh, carry out the activities. So, uh, the author have given many definitions for uh, artificial intelligence. And all those things can be categorized under four categories. Uh, major thing is humanly as well as rationally. And how to think humanly and how to think rationally according to the definition varies. Likewise, how to act humanly as well as how to act rationally according to the definition differs. So when you talk about the academy rationally, A is concerned with the intelligent behavior in artifacts. So that is what uh, Nilsson uh, is giving definition uh, about uh, uh, AI uh, in his uh, seminal work uh, in the year 1998. Uh, he's saying that he is concerned with intelligent behavior. Intelligent behavior. So whatever the AI you are telling about, so you should be intelligent behavior, intelligent behavior in artifacts. That means uh, state of the art. So when you go for say, if you go to the each and every content, say for example, acting humanly, where that research started, where that research started, and for other case, thinking humanly, the how it is called otherwise, uh, cognitive modeling approach. Thinking rationally, what is the meaning of that? The loss of thought. So what is the thing that is uh, going inside your mind should be replicated, should be utilized. So what is that? You will always have some kind of psychological uh, professors or some kind of psychological philosophers or uh, scientists who are all responsible for uh, the one that now we are thinking about many things process we are not going beyond that just we are using the technology but uh, there, there are some people they are going beyond that so that means they are thinking beyond the uh, humanity uh, and uh, in order to bring up anything as a artificial one so sometimes they may be helpful to you and sometimes they may be most uh, destructible uh, in case of the technology that is available so without seeing any person we have uh, 
something like a sense of uh, smell or sense, sense of touch uh, like that that of thing is possible means then uh, why not it may be possible by many other uh, concepts and uh, finally acting rationally under acting rationally it is there the, uh, the rational agent approach so what is the agent here an agent is such something that acts it's a person it's a person where the agent word comes from it comes from uh, latin latin it means uh, agree agree agent uh, like that like that so the agent 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 that means so of course all computers to do something but the computer agents are expected to both so if you is computers are doing the processing storing retrieving everything uh, what uh, the agent is doing just uh, carry the information and handle over the information from one location to another location so that's what uh, so these are the four major application and it is very easy and if i read the content one by one then i should uh, uh, read like a news reader uh, but it, uh, i left it to you uh, to understand what is uh, a is actually about so it is a mm, thing so when you come about acting humanly that is during test approach uh, you during test is without computer you cannot do anything so if you come to that level of uh, addiction then uh, you cannot come out uh, from those uh, situations so what you have to think is you should really resist that and if he, he or she may get, get uh, some opportunities so natural language processing knowledge representation and automated reasoning and vision learning. these are the four things that is mainly utilized uh, when you said about the operations related so natural of course when you have a uh, data you will have natural see simply they were like uh, one without uh, having anything they went out and they struggled for many other things they have been you know, so likewise uh, when you go for the idea so you can find that uh, natural language processing knowledge representation automated reasoning which you see they comes out comes out everything so what is the focus is all the things you should make a human to behave like a uh, so you should make a machine to behave like a human not only the behavior but also the attire but also the physique but also the thing everything so you would remember in many of the movies also where when a machine is uh, dominating the human at that time, the man's uh, character will get changed according to the machine. That means uh, the machine plays a vital role in part with uh, artificial intelligence. So, if, when you are going to have something out of it, uh, then you would always think about how to think about uh, manually, sorry, humanly, and how to act humanly. When you are thinking about that idea, then you may not forget about the uh, other additional activities that are required for to do that process. So this is the idea of uh, acting uh, humanly. So major idea thinking thinking humanly is a cognitive uh, approach. Thinking rationally, the law of the so many things, many things. So well, how to study these topics? So I am going to limit the topic. How to limit the topic? Just you uh, that uh, put it into a drop. Because there is a highlighter available. I do not highlight it. So you will highlight the same according to the uh, highlighter available. Then you can save the file. Then that file will be. Uh, permanent and whenever you need you take the information of the study so after that when the thing is uh, come closer then you can uh, use a rough note uh, from the uh, from the matrix that is uh, come from the uh, paper that can be stored in a piece of uh, uh, what is that uh, something like a piece of cake so then that can be utilized with respect to the further processes and everything so with this few introduction about the book definition so what is the definition that i have given is it is a book definition but uh, what are the definition given by our students already? There are the actual definition. So everyone is correct. I imagine they said that making a computer think on its own. I wish they create a machine to learn or learn something new. The intelligent card from a setup input and uh, output. Is. So you have not received uh, what is AI. And so maybe you may go to many uh, um, symposiums at all. But this one year, your period becomes a very uh, darker. So these definitions are the colloquial definitions and these definitions will play a wider role. But what is the definition that is given in book is it's a book definition. Uh, sometimes it may be uh, understandable to you, sometimes it, not, maybe it is not. But uh, what to do? <coughs> in order to run the course, you have to uh, go through all the points. I hope these points are very easier only. So you need to keep, remember that. Keep, remember that. So what is AI? Uh, what is AI? And uh, uh, just uh, one of the definitions of AI. So that's what the two topics we have seen. So next we have seen the, some of the topics in the next subsequent classes. Um, let me stop the recording.